Microchip's recently developed Unio bus gives designers more flexibility when designing applications that require external memory. Unio EEPROMs only require one signal line to the microcontroller to carry both clock and data signals, thus creating a method to connect an EEPROM to a micro using only one I.O. pin. Microcontroller I.O. pins are valuable resources. By only requiring one of these pins, Unio EEPROMs free up other I.O. pins to be used for value-added features. This can increase system value using the same basic design. Or, it might be possible to lower the system cost by moving to a smaller microcontroller. Another advantage of this bus is that these devices are available in very small three-lead packages. One pin for clock and data, and the other two pins for voltage and ground. This can mean a lower system cost and smaller designs. Finally, Unio Serial EEPROMs have been designed with advanced features such as a status register, advanced write protect options, and page writes. And these devices have the standard EEPROM advantages that we talked about earlier. 1 million erase write cycles, 1.8 to 5.5 volt operation, extended temperature options, and low power. With that, let's take a look at Microchip's complete serial EEPROM product line. Here is our product roadmap. Let's first look at I2C products in the leftmost column. Note that the available densities are listed along the vertical y-axis. All products in this family start with a 24 prefix. It has a very wide density range, from 128 bits to 1 megabit. The standard family has a maximum bus speed of 400 kHz, and our larger densities have 1 megahertz versions. We also have several 1 and 2 kbit specialty products used for applications like computer monitors and dim memory sticks. Next is our Unio EEPROM family, which is available in 1 through 16 kbit options. It has a voltage range of 1.8 to 5.5 volts and a maximum speed of 100 kHz. Remember that these new products require only one connection to the master. Now we'll look at the MicroWire family. This family is also available in 1 through 16 kbit devices as limited by the MicroWire protocol. The part numbering scheme starts with a 93 prefix and ends with a 46 for 1 kbit, 56 for 2 kbit, and so forth. Although it has a narrower density range, MicroWire is faster than I2C and Unio parts at 3 MHz. And remember, this family has four signals, so it requires four micro IOs as opposed to the two wire I2C bus and the single wire Unio bus. Lastly, here is the SPI product family which also requires four I.O. pins. Like the I2C family, SPI has a very wide density range, from 1 kbit to 1 megabit. But it also has much faster speeds, up to 10 MHz. Our 512 kbit and 1 megabit devices have a 20 MHz maximum bus speed. But SPI speed and advanced data protection schemes do add to the die size, so SPI devices are a bit more expensive than similar devices in the other protocols. This slide shows some of the more common EEPROM packages. All package photos are correctly scaled relative to each other. Under each package is its name and its footprint dimensions. I've also noted the maximum density that can fit into each package. The most popular package is the 8-lead SOIC. It has a 5 by 6 millimeter footprint and can hold up to 512 kbits. The TSSOP and MSOP packages are also popular and are smaller and thinner than the SOIC. Each can hold up to 256 kbits. Our smallest packages are next. The 2x2 mm SC70 package is our smallest option, available in 1 and 2 kbit devices. The 3x3 mm SOT23 package, in 3, 5, and 6 lead versions, can hold up to 16 kbits. The 2x3 mm TDFN package is also very small, and is less than 0.8 millimeters thick, making it an excellent choice for height-limited applications. It can hold up to 64 kbits. Finally, just about all our products are available in die and wafer form. So let's compare the four buses. Here's a chart that shows some key features of each protocol. Density range, speed, security options, number of microcontroller I.O. pins required, and package options. Under the heading for each bus, I've ranked that feature with 1 to 3 stars, 
with three stars being the best. As we've discussed earlier, I squared C and SPI have the widest choices in density, all the way up to one megabit. So both these buses earned three stars in the density category. The microwire and Unio buses have a comparatively limited density range of 1 through 16 kbits, so they only get one star. Next is speed. SPI has the fastest available bus speed, followed by microwire. I squared C and Unio bus are the slowest. Now let's look at security. The SPI and Unio protocols have the widest range of security options, featuring both software and hardware data protection schemes. I squared C features only hardware write protect, and microwire has the fewest data protection options. The Unio bus is clearly the best in terms of I/O pins used, since it only requires one microcontroller pin. I squared C devices usually require two I/Os, and microwire and SPI parts require at least four. I squared C, microwire, and the Unio bus all score well in the small package category. SPI parts require slightly larger packages in most densities. So what's the best bus? That of course depends on the needs of the application. If speed is the most important factor, SPI or microwire is the way to go. If speed at high density is most important, microwire drops out and SPI is the clear choice. I squared C is the most popular bus, probably because of its wide density range, small packages, and modest I.O. requirements. And if you are pin limited or space limited, a Unio device may be the best answer. As you can see, there are a lot of choices. We offer the flexibility to optimize your design based on your application goals. Regardless of which protocol you choose, it is fairly simple to make the connection to a microcontroller. Many micros have specific ports for each of the buses, or general I.O. ports can be used. We have a couple dozen app notes with code on our website that explain how to connect devices of each bus type. Let's take a moment to recap our agenda. First, we talked about Microchip's long history of manufacturing non-volatile memory. Then we talked about the general features of EEPROMs, small packages, low power, high endurance, byte level flexibility, and operation under a wide range of temperature and voltage conditions. Then we compared the features and advantages of each of the four major buses, including a look at our roadmap. Now let's take a look at the tools we offer for our memory products. Our major EEPROM tool is the MP Lab Starter Kit for Serial EEPROM Products. It is not just a memory programmer, but a debugging tool. You can use the programming and read functions to write to or read from any microchip device. The tool features byte, block, and array functionality and you can transfer data to and from external files. It's a very helpful and expensive debug tool. Our customers like its robustness, its user interface, and its simplicity. I've already talked about our second major tool, the Total Endurance Modeling Software. Recall that understanding endurance can be crucial. In this free, downloadable software, you can enter application-specific data to model the expected endurance of that application. Finally, we offer a large number of Verilog models on our website for download. We're just about to the end of this seminar, and we've really just hit the highlights of this product line. There's a lot more information available on our website. For more information on the different bus protocols, check out our product data sheets. These have excellent functional descriptions, including timing diagrams, command descriptions, and electrical specifications. We also have many app notes that explain how to connect an EEPROM to a micro using all four buses. Finally, we have more EEPROM web seminars, including ones about our MPLAB starter kit, endurance with a tutorial on the total endurance software, small package options, usage recommendations for each bus, and details of the new UNIO product line. All these can be found on our memory homepage at www.microchip.com memory. This wraps up today's seminar. In closing, I'd like to reiterate the following advantages of Microchip's EEPROM product line. We offer a full line of serial EEPROM products in all three major bus types. And don't forget our Unio line of single I.O. EEPROM products. We offer competitive pricing. We understand that cost is an important component of product selection. All our EEPROM products have industry-leading quality and endurance. We are also the industry leader in small packaging options, 
including a broad range of products in the SOT23 and 2x3 DFN packages. Finally, we understand how important delivery is to our customers. Because we own our own fabs and our own assembly test facility, we have historically had excellent delivery performance, especially during upcycles when memory product availability tends to become tight. Thanks for your time. Please take a look at some of the other excellent seminars we have prepared for you or take a look at some more memory information on our website.